All right, here he is, Ellis Cannon, and as I said moments ago on the radio, this is what you call the stars being aligned. He is a star, but of course, talking about Beaver County, the Shell Petrochemical Plant, we're both from that part of the world. He being from Midland, I'm from New Brighton. We have seen firsthand. Let's talk about why this is the place to be today. Oh, man, I mean, you know, so many different aspects of energy, and they're all on display here, literally. You're right. I mean, they couldn't get two better guys from Beaver County. You know, obviously, I go back to Crucible uh, yeah. all the way up, and, and uh, you know it quite well. And yeah, I mean, there's so many traditional and yet obviously future looking type of forms of energy on display and being discussed. I'm just glad to have a small role. One of the things that you do really well, talk world politics whenever you're filling in on KDK Radio, and obviously the tragic news as far as Jamal Khashoggi and what happened to him, the uh, journalist from the Washington Post, Saudi Arabia, hearing from the Crown Prince today for the very first time. But to get through all of that sadness, you still have to focus on the idea of energy independence. And that's another reason why Shale Insight 2018 is so important. Oh, there's no question. I mean, just looking at that topic, I mean, you've got four power players involved. Obviously, U.S., Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Iran. They all have various interests, most of them self-interest. And how that plays out is going to affect each of them in some ways differently. And so, you're right. I mean, it, it really does point to a, a need greater than the politics or, for that matter, even the people in place in that very moment. Ellis Cannon today, noon to 3, KDKA Radio. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. Taste the Good Life will be at DeSalvo Station in their trove, all for the Bruno and Carol San Martino Foundation.